Hello everybody, welcome to another VR tutorial. This time we're finally explaining the PlayStation Move and how to connect the PlayStation Move controller. Uh, I'm going to put a disclaimer right now. Um, I forgot to tell you guys one thing to buy, and it's an Asus um, YouTube, USB Bluetooth dongle. It's an Asus um, BT400, I'm pretty sure is what it was, an Asus BT400. I'll put a link in the description down below, because you're definitely going to need that to connect to it unless you have an internal Bluetooth card. My laptop has an internal Bluetooth card, but it was not connecting to the... PlayStation Move at all, so yeah, I had, to, I had to go and splurge on that one. It was only $15, oh, only $15, but um, yeah, you're definitely going to need one of those to connect to it. Uh, like I said before, you're going to need the PlayStation Eye and the PlayStation Move controller. So without further ado, we're going to get into this. First thing you're going to have to download is PlayStation Move Services. It's this folder right here. You, um, link in the description down below, obviously. Um, you're going to want to download that, and then before... Um, before we get everything else set up, we have all this stuff that's in this section here. But before we mess with all that, you need that downloaded. And then you're going to need the CLI driver. To work with all this, you're going to need the PlayStation Eye camera software, so that will work. You can download a um, free driver, but the free driver is super difficult to work with. I couldn't get it working for more than like five minutes. And it was just really irritating, so I, had, I just went and bought the CLI driver. It was only some $3 from the CL... I think it was like C, or, uh, oh yeah, right there, Code Laboratories, Inc., whatever, website. You download that, you install it. I'm not going to install because I already have it installed, but it's a really simple installation process. And then you can connect your PlayStation Eye camera, like I'm about to do right now. We just heard the little connection thing. And then I have the CLI test right here. And boom, right there. You can see the PlayStation Eye camera is doing all that stuff right there. But I'm going to unplug that right now. We don't Actually, I'm going to turn this off because we don't need that on right now. So we're going to go to back to the Moculus Rift section. And from there, we're actually going to unplug... Uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Don't listen to me. We're going to go here. We're going to turn on PlayStation Move Services because we've already downloaded uh, PlayStation Move Service on here. After you boot up PlayStation Move Services, it's going to take a minute to load up. You're going to want to turn on PS Move Config. All right, so PS Move Services has loaded up now. So now that PS Move Services is loaded up, we're going to, we are, I already turned on uh, PS Move Config. It pops up another little box here, and then we have PS Move Config here. So, tracker settings, you come in here and you can test tracker video feed. We're going to want to do that to make sure that the camera is working like it's supposed to. We can see right there, I'm not showing you guys anything else, because I don't look amazing right now. I've been lounging around the house today. But, uh, we have all these settings that we're going to have to get back to later. So we're going to go to controller settings. No Bluetooth connected controllers and no USB connected controllers. And we're going to plug in the PlayStation Move controller with our USB controller. So if we turn on the PlayStation Move controller right now, it connects to it right there. Which is sweet, but it doesn't tell us how to connect it automatically, so we're going to unpair the controller. So now the controller should be unpaired now. Well, after that grand adventure, we now have the PlayStation Move controller paired up or unpaired. Um, it really just shut down and then we had to reconnect it. So all you're going to want to do is you just want to plug in the PlayStation Move controller so that the PlayStation Move controller is all plugged into the thing. Or all plugged into the computer with, via its USB cable. Once you have it plugged in, you should have the little red light at the bottom of the controller flashing slowly. Then you're going to want to click this Pair USB Controller button. Whenever this all pops up on the screen, you're going to want to actually click the, P or the uh, PlayStation button that you would click to pair it to the PlayStation. And you're going to wait for it to... It's going to start flash. The little red light's going to start flashing like crazy. You may have to do this a couple times, but you just saw it jumped up to four, five. You're going to want to keep clicking that middle button every now and then whenever it stops flashing slowly. That way it can actually pair together. It might take a little bit because it's is it does take a minute for it to pair. But we just saw it went to three, then four, five, back down to three. Like I said, it takes a couple times for it to pair because of Windows' stupid Bluetooth connecting thing. So right there we have it paired up, so we can now unplug it. We just heard it get unplugged from the USB. Now we have the Bluetooth controller all, or we have the PlayStation Move controller all connected. I would show you guys like a live thing with like an actual camera, but I don't have my camera I can use right now for that. So we're going to go test rumble and it rumbles up, the light comes on. Back to controller settings, we can test orientation and as I'm moving it, it's, it's saying that it's oriented like this. So sweet. Return to main menu. We're now, we now want to calibrate magno, magtometer, whatever that is. And pretty much you just spin this thing around however many times. Try to get it to pair, or try to get as much information as you, as you can 
for it to, just to make it, yeah, just so that it knows like everything around it because it uses magnets inside of it, I believe. I guess that's what magnetometer or whatever that is. But pretty much you want to just spin this around as much as you can to try to get as much information in as you can. So twirl it around, flip it around, flip it around like a baton if you want to. But either way, after you get a little, after you get however many little things, it'll turn green like it has been for a minute, and just okay. And it's fully paired. You're gonna want to now put it. Okay, right there it says measuring reference magnetic field direction. Stand the controller on a level surface with the move button facing you. This will do, be the default orientation of the move controller. Measurements will start once the controller is aligned with gravity and stable. Okay, now we're gonna just stick it straight up and let it stabilize for it to load up. There we go. Now it's all calibrated and all fine and dandy now. So we're going to plug our, Mo or our PlayStation Eye back in for our next fun section of this. Alright, now that we have the trackers all set up, we're going to have to calibrate the trackers and make sure that everything is working fine. Right now you're going to see me with all the trackerness. So right there, I, obviously you can see me just sitting right here. That's how it's going to look for however, however you're going to set this up. Right now I'm just sitting on my bed so it's not going to be a perfect tracking. So, before we get everything we started, we're going to go calibrate tracking colors. Right now, we can see that the PlayStation Eye has the glowing orb. And if we go over here, color fil or video filter mode, we can change the different filters. Masked. Right now, I already have it all colored out where you can see all the stuff. But this is how it will probably normally look for you guys. So, you obviously can't see where the little orb is. You can kind of guess it's right in this area, but you don't know for sure. So, we're going to come back over here to the BGR, and you're going to right-click the orb right there. And then you're going to go back to Masked. And then you get to tweak these settings however much you can so that this orb is perfectly clear for wherever you are. You're going to do the exact same for all these other colors. See, like this one, red, it gets a little fuzzy, so you have to readjust and change saturation and stuff like that for those specific modes. But since you're only going to be using two, or at most you'll probably be using... Oh, the PSI camera just fell. But at the most you'll be using probably be two cameras... Uh, two PlayStation moves, so you just really need to calibrate magenta and cyan. Yeah, connect. Yeah, there we go. All tracked up right there. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do calibrate or uh, compute tracker pose. So now we have the camera. I moved the camera up here. It's over on a shelf now on some books so that it's a little more acceptable up there. It's easier for it to stay up there. So we're going to use calibration mat. Okay. Now, uh, send play, PS move upright in location 1, the X plus Z corner. So we're going to hold it right here, upright. Okay, so now we're going to pick it up. Now the negative X plus Z corner, we're going to st stick it upright right there. Now for the center, we're going to put the center right here. Right here, this corner. And now for the final corner, we're going to do right back here. Just make sure it's all stable and upright. Hold it right there. Now we can see where the controller is in correlation to everything else. Right here, if we get closer to these, if you can see right here, these little, I'm trying to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see, this thing that I'm circling right here, this one line, this line, this line, that is where the camera is. The closer we get to that, the closer it is to the camera. And the thing is, the further away it gets from the camera, the further away it gets to like in this big square that we have here. So here we are, here's the center of this area but it's not really. It's showing it as the center of the area. So we're going to exit from right there. All right, so after you've all calibrated the controller and you got it all connected, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Steam VR Initial Setup.bat. You're going to want to set that, or click that, and then all this will pop up. You're going to browse for a folder. You're going to browse for the Steam folder. Mine's in the C drive, um, program files, dot, or uh, forward slash, blah, 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 blah. Just find the Steam folder. You find the Steam folder, then you click OK. It'll install a bunch of stuff, as you can see with this thing. And then, after you have that, you're going to want to install Drivers Bat, and then that'll have that all running. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on Steam VR, and then you should have the um, controller and the um, PlayStation camera all connected, and it'll look like it'll work. The thing with mine is, I'm not using a fresh install. I've already installed this a couple times, and then I've played with the Leap Motion controllers for this. So my driver, it won't let me use the PlayStation Move driver without having a fresh install, which I can't get a fresh install to show you guys at the moment. So you guys are going to have to test this out on your, for yourself. But one thing I will say that happens with this um, controller is you will have the, wherever you have a V-Ridge headset, and you set the V-Ridge headset up in the middle, like wherever you set the V-Ridge headset up, the headset will be in the middle of the quote-unquote room that you're set up in. 
And then the controllers is the only thing that will move around around you because the controllers being tracked like with the uh, with the glowing ball on top. And then the PlayStation Eye. The headset stand or um, has to sit still, but the controller can move around. So that means, well, the controller is not um, constrained to the headset itself, which makes it difficult. Um, if your if your headset has free tracking, like you can use uh, LED or not LEDs, um, infrared lighting for free track, use free track or open track to track it. Or if you're using an Oculus Rift to do this, then this will work just fine for the controllers because it'll then emulate a Vive controller. But you have to be able to move around with the controller or get it where somehow the controller is next to your person the entire time. Something I couldn't figure out how to do with my limited knowledge and playtime with this controller setup. So it's all about you guys tweaking the settings to get it how you guys need it to go. In my personal opinion, I don't think this PlayStation Move setup will work well for this whole DIY V-Ridge um, head setup. Because I don't have free track or anything like that on this setup. So with that being said, I think that I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to go with the leap motion setup. So um, yeah, here's how you that's how you um, set up the PlayStation Move controller setup or get the PlayStation Move controllers and all that connected. Um, with that being said, this next tutorial that I'm gonna be doing next week is gonna be on the leap motion, and then after that one, I think that'll be all the setups I have to do. And then I'll be able to like show you guys how the VR works with the leap motion and all that stuff. Um, I can't show you guys how the PlayStation Move works just because it's not working on my computer right now. All the stuff that I told you to do will work on your computer. It will get it all set up. If not, then there's the um, troubleshooting page and then the how-to from the play PlayStation Move um, thing on GitHub. Uh, I will put all that in the description down below because you guys will need to um, use the tutorial or not tutorials but this instructions from on the wiki on here just because a lot of it if i didn't explain it well enough then the tutorial definitely will explain it better some people read it better some people see it better so depending on how you guys want to do that i'll put that in the description down below you guys can set all that up it's all settings and everything but that's how you install everything from my side so i love you all click the sub subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos next week i'm going to be messing with the leap motion like i said i love you all click that subscribe button now see you guys in the leap motion episode Later, guys.